The Raptors have their guy, Darko Ryakovic. A coach who came from Serbia, worked his way up through as a G League coach in Oklahoma City to Stabs in Phoenix, and then is the top assistant with the Memphis Grizzlies where they've had a great deal of success. Well, Darko, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you and Gaga and Luca to Toronto. It's very exciting to have you here and congrats on your first NBA head coach position. That's a huge accomplishment and Nothing new for you. You dipped your toe into coaching at 16 years old, the passion there very early. So what would 16-year-old Darko have to say about you now achieving this huge accomplishment? Thank you, Danielle. 16-year-old uh, Darko would uh, not believe that he's in this position. It took uh, a lot of, lot of uh, effort and a lot of help from amazing people. And uh, God put me in this position to be here and I'm very, very blessed for the opportunity. Sportsnet confirming the Raps are set to hire Darko Ryakovich as their next head coach. When your name came into the fan sphere, it was a mad scramble. Everyone trying to learn everything and anything about you. So can you give me the 0.5 second approach, since you like that, on who you are as a coach and what you hope to bring to this organization? As a coach, I'm a first of all person that cares about others. I like uh, to serve. Uh, to serve our players, to serve our organization, to serve to our fans. This is not about me. This is about how can, can I help others. And uh, I'm really, really passionate about the game. I'm very competitive and uh, I'm looking forward to, to bring uh, anything I can to help this team uh, to continue to grow. Scotty Barnes does so many things to impact the game. He's a special talent and I'm just excited to see him continue to grow in this game. When the Raptors posted that you, the official announcement that you were now the head coach, uh, the first one of the comments that stood out to me was actually Scotty Barnes. He wrote, yes, sir, because you're in the house, Starko. And I'm curious, with player development, when you look at a player like Scotty Barnes, what do you make of him and what do you think is the biggest area of growth you could see for a player that possesses his talents? What I love about Scotty is his own selfishness. He's all about the team. He's all about making other guys better, moving the ball. I can't wait for the moment to get in the gym and start working with him and unlocking his game in any possible way. You gotta know that he's 21 year old, that uh, his process uh, of him uh, improving and getting better is not gonna be li linear. It's gonna be ups and downs. But as far as he's continuing to go into the right direction, we're going to be able to see amazing player over here in Toronto that's going to bring a lot of joy to our fans. There was a funny moment on our network. How y'all doing? You know the vibes. Scotty Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> the vibes last season, I'm going to be honest, Darko, they were a little bit tough. So now coming in, I can see your big smile and your energy. It's so positive. How do you cultivate that environment right from the jump? It's about daily thing. Like I want every player, I want everybody on the coaching staff, everybody in the building to come with that same smile on, on the face every single day. You know, are we gonna win every single game? No, we're not. But uh, we need to win every single day. Like we need to get better every single day. And uh, with that kind of approach, I think uh, we're gonna be able to achieve amazing things here. When you were with Memphis, the buzzword they used that you seem to like a lot was swag. What should your buzzword be with the Raptors now? Trust. We need to trust our players, that we need to install confidence in those guys and uh, to have fun through, uh, throughout this whole process. We got to have fun. We're privileged. We're in the, in, in, in the business of uh, playing basketball. There is nothing for us to complain about, but just really to enjoy the, the journey. One more thing. I noticed on your Twitter profile, it says you are a espresso connoisseur. Do you know that Bobby Webster is also an espresso guy? Yes, it looks like we have a couple of those in the organization. <laughs> Everybody's claiming that, that they are the best and they know the best coffee shops and know everything about the coffee. So uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, people uh, together fighting over those, those uh, good espressos. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, I look forward to hopefully having one, Darko. <laughs> Congratulations again and welcome to Thank Toronto. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you so much.